Hey babes, today in this video I am going to be doing a tutorial using the P. Louise eyeshadow base and the P. Louise eyeshadow palette. I mean, it looks like this. It's pretty cool. This product uh, for 15 mil is 10 pounds. It's already viral in the internet. I did take some time to pop this video up, but this took a month for it to arrive through the post because it's so popular. And the P. Louise eyeshadow palette is £40 for 12 eyeshadows and it's just a bunch of warm tones. It's like warm tone heaven and everybody has got warm tone eyeshadows but if you look at my eyes they're very very pigmented and they're very very lovely. Is everyone just kind of like running on the hype though? And this eyeshadow palette, do you need it though? Uh, I mean... Let's just get on with the video and see how these eyeshadows and eyeshadow bases perform. I mean, my hair underneath be looking a little bit crazy. You're gonna put a wig on top, you know what I mean? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is pop on my Iris Beauty lenses in Passion. So they've got a darker rim, a grey and then a yellow to blend in with my brown eye colour. These are very intense, they look so sickening with eyeshadow looks. You can actually use the code MARK45 to save some money. Use the coupon code MARK45. Leave a link down below for the specific lenses that I'm wearing. Super, super comfortable. The main star of the show is the P. Louise base and the P. Louise palette. I do believe that they come out with like a few different shades now but this is rumor number two in the 15 milliliter bottle and then i got the p louise eyeshadow palette her instagram is amazing and she's got like this academy this school where she teaches like eyeshadow looks and like makeup in that way and she's absolutely incredible she's based in the uk and i'm just gonna pop on a dot on each eye and a little bit goes a really long way i'm just going to be tapping this onto my eye and um, I'm not gonna lie uh, it took a month for this to come through the post not because it got lost in shipment or something it's just because due to the high demand they don't have enough to go around for everyone so it took a month to come which I'm honestly that's way too long especially for pre-order I don't even care if it's pre-order I would just think that you know with, when it comes to supply and demand, you need to meet those demands with your supply. You know what I mean? I think you need to be prepared. I don't know. I, I don't know. I think it's just because I learned about this sort of stuff in uni. You need to meet the demand of your audience, your customers in that way. So that's something to know uh, that it is very, very much like sought out in the beauty community currently. This is the P. Louise palette. It comes in a sleeve like this. Each eyeshadow comes with three grams of product to come in this like cardboard packaging with a massive mirror and it comes with 12 eyeshadows, two shimmers and then the rest are mattes. Obviously I have been testing this out and been using this. With this base it's actually recommended to not set it and just to keep it kind of like tacky in that way. So the first shade I'm going to be using is Queen right here which is a bright red eyeshadow and I'm going to pop that into the crease, I'm going to be creating a very winged out look. I'm going to be creating something super dramatic because P. Louise's looks on Instagram are very, very dramatic in that way. So this has a pink tone to it, as you can see, and <laughs> she's pigmented. I'm going to use Sun Kissed right here and use that on the edges of that color. I'm going to use P. Louise, which is the yellow shade. It's engraved P, which is quite cool. I really like little details like that when it comes to products. I love yellow eyeshadow. I mean, you can see from like a lot of my eyeshadow looks when it comes to YouTube, I love to use yellow a lot because it just warms up any sort of eye look. I'm going to use a tiny little brush and use a uh, shade Bestie. It's a dark brown, but it's a cool tone brown. Compared to the other shade, this is a sort of cool tone shade and I'm gonna proper etch out the crease. Do you see how pigmented these are? These are crazy 
I'm going to use Queen with the same brush and kind of just like, just on the edges, very, very edges. That's why you want to use the same brush, is just go across the edge of that. You don't want to go way up like we did with the orange and the yellow. Just want to keep it super, super close. What I'm going to do now is use the base again, pop it on the back of my hand and <laughs> cut the crease. I'm going to use the MAC 252 brush. I think this is super cool color. It's like a green and copper at the same time. It's like a duochrome. I've never seen a color like this. This is called Wonderland from Barry M Cosmetics. It's one of the Glitter Rush glitters and um, it might look Christmassy, but we'll never know unless I put it on my eye. So I'm just gonna pop it on my eye just to try it out. I'm gonna use the Glitter Fix Gel from Barry M as well. Yes. I like this color a lot, even with this eye look. I think it looks great. Yes! So now that I've applied my lashes, my liner, and mascara, I'm gonna be using my PS Cole Eyeliner Pencil in Wide Awake. This is actually pretty good, you guys. This is, I think, like one or two pounds. And I just like to open up my eyes a lot more because we did do a rounded eye a little bit of the p louise base again pop that into the back of my hand and pop that into the lower lash line this is like weird because i usually do like to pop on my foundation before i do my lower lash line but let's try something new for the video i'm just gonna apply the same colors that i applied on the top to the bottom so i'm gonna start off with the red and just kind of apply it and then smoke it down. Just a bit of the yellow underneath that. I'm gonna use a little bit of Prin, which is one of the only shimmery shades in the palette. It's just a white gold, just like nylon from MAC. And I'm applying that onto the inner corner of the eye. This eyeshadow is not that special. I don't think it's just, you know, every palette kind of has that white gold inner corner highlight so i'm just applying that onto the inner corner what i am going to do is apply some rhinestones i don't know how many i'm gonna apply but i'm just gonna apply some stones because i like stones so to try on more products that i got through the post amazing cosmetics have um gifted me the amazing cosmetics illuminating primer this is the glow one so it comes in this white tube which is huge by the way it's pretty massive it comes with 50 mils of product and yeah it's kind of like strobe cream from mac I'm going to be applying my Revolution Pro foundation drops and I actually um, use this in my uh, Revolution Pro first impressions review. Oh my gosh, it just dropped it on my jumper. Brilliant. This is what I don't like about these. And the fact that I'm clumsy, it doesn't really help. And I'm just gonna blend this in using my Zoeva buffer defined brush. Look how well this foundation matches my skin. This is in the shade F12. This is actually such a nice coverage foundation. To say that it's a dewy, sort of light to medium coverage is very good coverage. I prefer it to the full coverage one that they have, if I'm gonna be honest. It just feels a lot lighter to me, but still retaining a lot of coverage. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but yeah. So Amazing Cosmetics also sent me the Amazing Concealer. I've got the shade in uh, medium golden. This is closer to my skin. It's not so much highlighting, so I might apply a lighter concealer on the top. Bam, 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 bam. By the way, this concealer is super, super thick. It's very, very full coverage. Like one of the most full coverage concealers that I own, but don't need a lot of this. And the foundation gave me a lot of coverage anyway, but I do rate this concealer. I am kind of just sort of finishing off the rest of my Primark setting powder. Um, I have liked this product a lot, to be honest. I'm just going to be popping that on underneath the eye. And then I'm gonna use a bigger brush and I'm just gonna 
brush that onto the rest of the skin to mattify and set. So it actually is 1.19 in the morning and I'm literally applying this to take it all off after. But you know what guys, you know, let's do it for the YouTube, let's do it for the YouTube, let's do it for the YouTube. For my contour kit, let's be honest, let's just go with tried and true my Anastasia contour kit because, uh, <laughs> you know, you can't go wrong with a little bit of Anastasia. It's, I don't know. You know when you know that a product's high quality that it's just kind of like normal to you? Like it's just a normal product for you to use. It doesn't amaze you anymore just because it kind of just does the job and does the job properly. I don't know if I'm making sense at all, but I don't know. Once you use a product so much, it just kind of works for your skin and you know the results. I know what I'm trying to say. You're just so used to the amazingness that it doesn't wow you anymore, but it's still really good. If you apply contour right under your lip, yeah, causes a shadow, makes it look huge. So I like to contour there a lot. So now that I've got all of this going on, I've got a beak of a nose. I'm going to just let that marinate and sink in and bake and cook. And I'm going to be using my NARS blush in Outlaw. I haven't used this blush in a long time, but... This is the perfect blush for this look. Try Bland Highlighter from Barry M. This is Bronze Deco. You guys should get on this because it's literally amazing. Just a few taps like that, tap off the excess and just apply onto the skin. And it's a boom. It's, it's definitely a look. It's definitely a statement, sis. I ain't being funny yet, but... It's crazy, it's, a, it's definitely a highlight. You can watch my demo video on this on my Instagram. How are you guys doing by the way? I hope you guys are doing great. You know, if I ever don't post on my YouTube, I'm always posting on my Instagram and I like to be really, really consistent in that way over there. So come follow me at mark.zapanta. So, my friend Ola, who's been on my YouTube channel before, has released, this is crazy, her own cosmetic line, and she's come out with Bear Me Banks Cosmetics. I'll leave the online website down below, and she come out with her own cream lipsticks. There's four shades, and I bought two of them to support my girl, and she's just recently finished university and to come out with your own business within... Pretty much seconds, I mean, I'm like, I did not see this one coming at all. I think it's incredible and obviously someone like me, I would want to see myself support other people in terms of their successes and I think it's amazing. I think we need more people who support, you know, people of the same interests and good people, just good people, you know what I mean? I wanted to be one of the first ones to try them out and also show you guys. So these are the lipsticks. These lipsticks are $5.99 each and they come in this matte black packaging which are magnetic. The packaging I really really like. It's so nice, it's so high-end. So Angel is a nude, Arabica is also a nude but it's more brown based. It's like a brownie pink. Angel first. It's super creamy. Mm. I'm gonna apply Arabica just under outer corners. I'm gonna use it kind of like a liner. So guys, that was me with my P. Louise palette and base tutorial and obviously I tried on a bunch of different products in that way as well and showed you how different products work and tried a few new bits out and I'm super happy with this look. I mean, Shabbat Shablam, she's a woman. <laughs> I give this whole look a toot. I toot all of the products that I used, if I'm gonna be honest. The lipsticks, the eyeshadows, the base. This is probably one of my favorite bases. Yeah. Um, I give it a two. If it's a two or a boo, I give it a two. Uh, comment. Talk to me on Instagram. And remember that I love you, all five of you. Bye, guys.